little bit about myself. Hmm. Well, as you can probably tell, music plays a huge role in my life. Um, started off on the recorder when I was a little kid after my grandfather introduced me to the classics like Beethoven and Bach and Mozart. And I got pretty good on the recorder, and whereas most of the kids my age um, you know, started to doodle around the recorder and then eventually you know, replaced it with some baseball and football, I continued on the recorder, got pretty good at it. That evolved to the clarinet, and I got pretty good on the clarinet too. Uh, learned the whole classical repertoire and clarinet, and was doing pretty good with the clarinet until seventh grade when something pretty amazing happened. That's when my music teacher introduced me to jazz. He actually put on a Miles Davis recording of a tune called Straight No Chaser, and I'd never heard anything like that before. And, you know, bang, my, mind, my mind was just blown, you know. And, um, that's when I picked up the saxophone, first the, the big baritone saxophone, and then the alto saxophone, and then eventually the tenor saxophone, and that's what I've played ever since. And, um, what's cool about right chord leadership at this point uh, in my career is that it allows me to blend my love and passion for music with my love and passion for leadership development and helping people be more effective and successful at work. And um, the whole right chord leadership brand just really uh, defines where I'm at as a practitioner, you know, both where my head is at and my heart is at, my whole philosophy about uh, leadership as an art, you know. And uh, it's been great. People really seem to resonate with the whole idea and the organizations that I've had the, uh, you know, the good fortune to work with uh, have really experienced some tremendous results. So I'm very excited about it and uh, can't wait to, to work with more individuals looking to, to be successful. Thank you.